With the NFL offseason underway, teams are building in the hopes of capturing a Lombardi. Perhaps the most vital part in this process is identifying positions of need. For San Francisco, it's obvious they need help on their secondary front, specifically their corner position. When you're looking at last year for instance, they had guys like Isaiah Oliver and Logan Ryan in there and both of them fizzled out to say the least. So to address this glaring weakness, San Francisco decided to bring in breakout corner from the Saints, Isaac Yidam. Last year alone, Yidam had 14 passes defended on only 8 starts and he also had an interception. And while this is by far his best year, Yidam is really just entering the prime of his career, being 28, and based off the film last year, it looks like he's finally put everything together. He looks like he could truly be a long term starter in the NFL. So in this video, I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into Isaac Yidam to see what he offers San Francisco by first looking at his athletic profile, then the most recent season with the Saints, and then his career up to this point. Coming in at 6'1", Yidam has pretty prototypical NFL size. He also ran his 40-yard dash in 4.52 seconds and his 10-yard split in 1.59 seconds. While Yidam isn't the tallest or the fastest NFL corner, he does have plenty of speed and size to be a really effective NFL corner. To highlight this point, I want to focus on how prolific Yidam is as a pass coverage specialist first. In 2023, for instance, he was called for just two penalties and allowed a completion percentage of 48.9% on him. That's good for 12th in the NFL. But it wasn't just Yidam's stats that look nice, it was also his film. On this play, for instance, he has man coverage. He's not pressed up into the receiver's face, but he does a great job of having enough awareness to trigger when Baker Mayfield starts throwing this and that's enough to break this pass up. While playing off is nice, I think Yidam is much better at press man coverage. On this play for instance, you'll see how Yidam is right in the face of Chris Godwin and then he uses his long arms to press Godwin to the sideline. Yidam does this because the sideline essentially acts as another defender, but then once he does identify that Chris Godwin is looking back for the ball, he does a great job of turning his head around and getting the pick on Godwin. On this next play, Yidam is once again in press man coverage, but on this instance, he isn't able to get clean press on this wide receiver, but thanks to his athletic profile and size, and awareness, he gets his head back, doesn't get the penalty, but breaks up this pass. One of my favorite parts about Yidam's game though is how when the ball is in the air, he takes it as his. On this play for instance, I love how he gets in the press coverage situation with this wide receiver and then challenges him at the catch point and nearly intercepts this ball. Once again, lined up all in this wide receiver's face, Yidam does a nice job of using his technique with his hands to disrupt this receiver's route. And then once he notices Tommy DeVito triggers, he does a great job of reaching around and breaking up this pass. And while so far he's been focusing on breaking up passes, he also does a great job of making tackles in the passing game, like in this instance where he stops his back short on third down. Now in zone coverage, I want to focus on how Yidam is able to play the wide receiver as well as running back. Here he's watching where the quarterback's going with the ball, and as soon as he dumps it off, he triggers on that running back and really helps to stop him for a pretty short gain. Bouncing back to how Yidam breaks up passes though, I want to focus on this play how Yidam doesn't back down in big time moments. He actually rises to the occasion. Here on third down for instance, Love is going to the end zone. But once again, Yidam nearly gets the interception. He does a great job of turning back to the quarterback and then elevating himself to make himself in play for this ball. Yidam here does a great job of identifying the ball placement by Jordan Love. He looks back, figures out where the ball actually is, and then plays this extremely aggressively to finally break up this pass. Overall in the year, I thought Yidam excelled with his hand usage. Once again, when we're watching this play, Yidam puts his hand right on the ball to break this up. Last year for the Saints, Yidam put up several plays in which he looked like a Pro Bowl corner. On this play specifically, I want to focus on how Yidam disrupts the timing of this route thanks to his press man coverage. And then, what I was focusing on earlier, his ball skills come into play. He reaches over this wide receiver as soon as it gets there to break up this pass. You could even ask Yidam to go play one on one deep with a wide receiver and he could do it easily. On this play for instance, he's not fooled by this wide receiver's trickery and then breaks this up like he would a slant. 
While these passes broken up and interceptions are nice, the fact is San Francisco also needs a corner who has an ability to come up and stop running backs for a short gain. And for Isaac Yidham, I saw several plays in which he was extremely aggressive in the run game, like here where he meets the running back and then stops him, or on this play where Isaac Yidham does a great job of getting outside contain and then filling from outside in. This is exactly how you want your corner to play it. And while I like Yidam's positioning on a lot of runs, I don't necessarily like how he's lunging for his tackles. On this play for instance, he doesn't really break down all the way, he could have got a lot more square before making this tackle. In a similar way, on this goal line play, sure, Yidam is making the tackle, but in the future, he definitely could have this tackle broken, so I would really like to see him keep his feet moving and not lunge as much. Overall, when I'm looking at Yidam's film from last year, I see a young corner on the rise. And while he's not perfect in every aspect of his game, I think he's going to continue to improve. And San Francisco might just get a breakout year from him. But one year alone isn't enough to tell this, so I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into Yidam's career up to this point in hopes of understanding the player San Francisco is actually getting. Isaac Yidam started his football career at Daughtry Memorial High School in Massachusetts. There he played wide receiver as well as cornerback. He was a three-star recruit according to 24-7 Sports and had offers from Boston College, Bryant, Kentucky, Holy Cross, and Massachusetts. Ultimately, he did decide enrolling at Boston College. During his freshman year, he played in 13 games and had 13 tackles and 1 pass breakups. As a sophomore, he actually started and had 18 tackles, 1 interception, and 5 pass breakups. As a junior in 2016, Yidam really came into his own, leading his team with 10 pass breakups. In addition to that, he had 26 tackles, including 2 for loss. He didn't disappoint going to his senior year in 2016, he started all 13 games, had 53 tackles including 2 passes intercepted and broke up 7 more. So with his final season out of the way at Boston College, Isaac Yidam decided to enter the 2018 NFL Draft and scouts decided to dive a little bit deeper into his film and they definitely saw strengths as well as weaknesses. As far as strengths go, Yidam was both tall and had long limbs, but maybe more impressively was how he used him on the football field. You often would see him jamming wide receivers, and despite him not being the biggest corner, they weren't able to get off of him. Then when the quarterback put it up for 50-50 jump ball scenarios, thanks to his great ball skills, Yidam would often win. And while there were strengths to Yidam's game, there were also weaknesses, such as his ability to fight off blocks in the running game. The Broncos seeing a lot more strengths than weaknesses out of Yidam though, they decided to pick him up in round 3 with pick 35 in the 2018 NFL Draft. For the 2018 and 2019 seasons, Yidam played for the Denver Broncos and he registered a total of 60 tackles including 7 passes defended and 1 interception. Yidam then moved on in 2020 to see times with the Giants before moving on in 2021 to Packers then the Texans before finally finding his team with the Saints in 2022 and 2023. Yidam, while he's been okay throughout his career, really saw an uptick last year where pro football focus even ranked him as the 16th best corner in the National Football League. So now going over to San Francisco, I do think he'll be able to keep up this level of play, especially if San Francisco starts to work with his skill set. Because even though San Francisco isn't known for pressing wide receivers off the line of scrimmage, I do think Yidam has a great ability in this aspect. But even if Yidam is just a depth piece, I do think he's a good one. He'll offer competition for the outside corner spot and now offers San Francisco flexibility via the draft. They don't necessarily need to draft a corner immediately on in this draft, but now they have some options. Ultimately, these are just my thoughts on San Francisco signing Isaac Yidam though, and I want to know your thoughts down below and if you think he'll return to his last season form. It would also mean a ton to me if you liked and subscribed, and as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.